Hey everyone, it is Alluring Simmer here and today we are going to be doing a speed build. Um, this speed build is actually something that I worked on on stream and if you aren't already following me on Twitch, I definitely recommend it. My link to my Twitch channel will be in the description down below, but it's just Alluring Simmer, same as it's spelled here on YouTube. I know that I haven't like posted a video in a while besides my VODs kind of going up the past few weeks or months I guess um but I definitely want to get back into it again so hopefully this is something you'll be seeing more often my plan is to have a video out every Tuesday and Thursday so when you're seeing this this should be Thursday around 6 p.m eastern standard time and basically every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m eastern standard time is when I will have a new video out. Today in this speed build you're going to be seeing me work on a gamer house. I didn't really have a full plan going into this. I kind of just decided I wanted to build something and then I ended up making a house dedicated to like streamers or gamers. Think like hype house but for gamers I guess the same thing. Um I didn't make any sims for it, like I didn't have like sims in mind when I made the household, but I feel like each room does kind of have its own theme to it, um, which you'll see later on. Right now I'm just working on the floor plan, it kind of took me forever to do. I feel like I got like a decent one down and like but it just it just took a lot of manipulating a lot of like messing around to kind of figure out exactly what i wanted to do but essentially the floor plan is the upstairs there's three bedrooms and two bathrooms and then two of the bedrooms have their own balconies and then in the downstairs level there's like a lounge room slash living room slash movie theater room and then there's a kitchen and dining, obviously, a bathroom and a laundry room. And then I kind of turned like the front foyer slash hallway space into a lounge room in itself. So there's like a more laid back living room like space or lounge space. And then you have like the theater room so your sims can like actually watch TV or watch movies whatever it is that they want to do. I decided to start roofing. I wanted to do like a traditional roof style at first, but then I was like, we're making this house in Del Sol Valley. This is the house called the Ward Den, and it is in like the top area of Del Sol Valley. I don't know how else to explain it. It's a 50 by 40 lot, I'm pretty sure. And the reason why I wanted to build it there is I just feel like influencer streamer gamer like having a house kind of like this just gives me like la vibes which is i'm pretty sure what del Sol valley is based off of so i thought since we're making kind of like a mansion which wasn't really my original intention i did want to make a bit of a smaller home but it just ended up working out where we put it so now here choosing the wallpaper design was like the hardest part i had to like go through pinterest and kind of look at like modern home exteriors to kind of decide the final outcome but i did end up liking how it looked i think the biggest issue was kind of deciding like i didn't want the building to be like entirely white but i didn't really know how to break up the different colors or the different spaces um, I originally tried doing this like weird out, I don't even know how to explain it, like a weird little balcony thing with like windows and I was gonna make it like have a little secret entrance where your sims can like climb a ladder and go sit on the balcony and honestly I still think it would have been a really cool idea and I feel like it would have been a good way to like add an additional lounge space instead of having it sort of like in the front foyer but I just didn't like how it looked on the outside and I just could not make it work. So I ended up getting rid of it completely after messing around with it for a long time. Honestly, I think it turned out for the better. I just wish that maybe we had more options for like more modern looking columns because I feel like we have a lot more traditional ones and then we have like the rounded columns, but we don't really have a lot that are just like square, modern, simple, but like, I also wanted it to kind of look like it could support like what was above it and honestly none of them were doing that for me. Um, so then choosing the windows again was very hard especially with uh, modern homes. I feel like windows kind of play a big role in determining like how your house is going to look. 
honestly i think that's why i was struggling so much with the wallpaper i think someone in my chat actually said that like usually when they did modern homes like it kind of took them um placing the windows for the house to kind of start looking good and i feel like that was the case with this house with the wallpaper it was much easier to decide which one i wanted to use after the windows were placed and i kind of could see like the different sections of the house a bit better so here's me just placing all of the windows all around a oh, window placement just takes me so long in the sims and i don't know why i think it's just like hard to figure out exactly where i want to place each window like what kind of windows i want to use like or how small and choosing like the color to make sure that like everything is matching and sims 4 has a really bad habit of like some windows being like gray or like a really dark gray and then some windows are like a true black so like finding ones that matched kind of required me to like use windows from the same pack and then a few from base game um one thing i should mention is i did use a lot of packs when i tend to do builds even if i'm posting it on the gallery in the sims 4 i just i don't really give myself pack restrictions just it limits what i can do with the builds essentially and i kind of just want to make use of all of the content that i have so i'm not sure what packs were used but i will definitely leave it in the description in case anyone is wondering before they go to download it or you can always just go to the gallery my gallery id is alluring simmer and it's also in the description as well and it'll tell you like what packs were used for this build this was kind of split into three different streams so you may see like that there will be like random jumps in some parts but that's just because i streamed this over three days and honestly i feel like it could have been done in mm, maybe two streams but most of the times when i'm streaming i'll do like something else at the beginning of the stream like recently we started doing crochet streams and then going into the sims and some days i've been doing like gameplay and stuff like that so that's why this hasn't really been like a main focus but i think in the future i'm either going to record speed builds separately from what i do on stream or i'm going to try and do like maybe shorter speed builds or split them into parts if that's something you guys would be interested in. Even for this people, it's pretty long and I'm not sure if you guys will be into that or not. So you can let me know in the comments down below like if you guys want to see shorter speed builds or if this is perfectly fine or if you'd rather me like split it into like two different parts. It's completely up to you all like I want to make sure that this is a good viewing experience for the people watching. But yeah, so here, oh my god, this is my favorite part. I decided to do a like garage space and obviously we don't have garages in The Sims 4 and I was being lazy. I honestly was trying to do anything to avoid using tool because as, as much as it would have probably made the whole situation a lot easier for me, I just felt like if I can avoid it, I'm going to avoid it. And then it ended up taking like so much less time to just use tool than it did to like try and find ways to avoid using tools so moral of the story is when you can just use tool because it makes things a lot easier i use it to flip the painting from bowling stuff or whatever it's called I'm pretty sure it's called bowling stuff pack and i just use like the back of that frame to kind of create like something to sort of cover up the windows so essentially the garage door is just a bunch of windows put together but i wanted it to look more like a garage door and garage doors generally don't have windows going all the way down i mean maybe some do but that was just not the vibe i was going for um and the garage is more just for the exterior to kind of look a little bit better because i just felt like it was fitting for this home but the inside we actually end up covering it up with curtains so you can't even really tell that it that is what we were trying to do um i didn't want to make an actual garage and like put like debug cars or anything in there because i just feel like it would have been a waste of space since they're not functional in the backyard and the exterior i kind of just like <laughs> i kind of just threw something together because i'm gonna be honest like i sort of wish that i did this on a smaller lot just because i feel like there was a lot of space to be filled and not a lot of things that i felt that i wanted to place to like fill the space if that makes sense i was gonna try to do like pool lights all around and i kind of wish that i did but just not those lights from the new 
the new kit not new kit but the desert lux kit um just because those ones like they just weren't illuminating so you may have seen earlier that i was trying to like test them out and they just were not lighting up the way that i wanted them to so i should have just used the regular pool lights but i ended up just removing it all together i think if i were to do this again i probably would go in and put in the pool lights just because i honestly don't even think i put <laughs> any outdoor lights now that i'm thinking about it i'm pretty sure after i finished the exterior on this stream i was like oh we'll just add outdoor lights like at the end but obviously i forgot to do that so that is why it may be a little dark on the outside so i recommend if you download this just to add some lights maybe by the doors and stuff like that now i was choosing the flooring i went with like a lighter wood for the floors i generally do lighter wood floors i don't know why i just i i think i just don't know how to like style a home with like a darker color scheme so if anyone has any tips please let me know because i feel like there are a lot of items in the game that would make sense if i were to use darker wood tones just because i feel like a lot of the items are more likely to have a darker wood tone than lighter ones um but i i just i don't know how to make it look good maybe i just need to look at some like inspo pics on pinterest or something like that because i sometimes want to use a darker wood but then i just feel like i can't find the right furniture to like match it and make it look good i don't know i think i just need to like experiment more but here i decided to do like build this house in a different way than i normally do so i went into each room i placed all the wallpaper i usually start off with like white paint on all the walls just because i feel like if i end up forgetting to put like a wallpaper or i'd rather it be like white wallpaper than to have like the dry wall so even if i were to upload it and let's say i missed one of the walls technically i wouldn't miss it because i go in and i paint all the walls but it's just much more annoying to have like one single piece of drywall as opposed to like white wallpaper i don't know if that makes sense but i just think it looks better and also sometimes i end up just keeping the wallpaper because i just want a simple plain wall so i did that for all the rooms added all the wallpaper added all the floors and then i added the little saucer light just so i was able to see um i just finished up the main bathroom and I kind of worked, again, as I was saying, I did work a little bit differently with this build. So I decided to do the rooms that I hate doing the most first, and then doing the ones that I thought would be more fun afterwards, just because I feel like ending with stuff that like I really wanted to do just made it more enjoyable as opposed to starting with the things that I'm like really excited about and then not really wanting to do the rest. So I kind of leave it empty. The exterior, like I hate, landscaping i hate doing the exterior not hate it that's a very strong word i just don't feel like one that i'm very good at it and two that it's like it's not the most fun part of the build for me like i like doing the interior decorating a little bit more honestly i feel like a lot of people sometimes refer to me as like a builder but i honestly think i just like decorating <laughs> and i just build just because it's much easier to get like the right structure for what i want to do on the inside as opposed to like downloading someone's shell and then furnishing it although i do also like doing shell challenges so i don't really know what i'm saying but um so i did the exterior and landscaping first then i did all the bathrooms and the laundry rooms another reason why i did them all at the same time was because it's easier to like repeat items in bathrooms like i tend to just end up using like the same toilet same sink just because it makes it more like i don't know how to explain it but it just makes it blend more throughout the house if everything is using like the same appliances i don't know if appliances is the right word the same fixtures i guess like most times in people's house like all their bathrooms will look very similar at least the toilets and the sinks unless maybe in the master bedroom it might be a little bit different which is kind of what i did here um now we moved on to the movie theater room there also was a laundry room there's not really much to say about that there's just a washer and dryer in there um and then a few like little extra things from laundry day for the movie room i kind of went all out um this is a room that has like the garage door which you'll see i later cover up with these like kind of red not red curtains but the traditional red curtains but i chose a blue swatch instead i added the posters and stuff from like get famous and base games kind of look like you know maybe they 
printed them out or they got them printed somewhere like the photo prints of these movies just to kind of make it look a little bit more authentic um and i think that it turned out pretty good i was trying to do something where i put like the curtains behind the tv and honestly i think it would have looked cool but again i was being a little bit lazy with this build like i would have just had to move the tv forward a little bit and then put the curtains on the wall or delete the wall and then place the curtains but i just i was trying to do like the <laughs> the the bare minimum the basics here um so someone in my chat actually suggested for me to put the cabinets underneath because i was trying to use a bunch of different items to kind of create this little like i don't know cabinet tree like console sort of thing but without using a console table um and i honestly have used cabinets before to do that but i just did not think of it during this time so i'm glad that that person helped me out um now we're on to the hallway this is something else that i like to do sometimes is one if i'm excited to use like a certain pack i tend to use the filters a lot to like filter by specific packs i feel like it's very easy to miss items in the game i tend to miss items from packs that i have and then i don't end up ever using them until i like go and filter by the pack and i'm like oh i didn't even know that this came with this pack or oh i didn't even know this item existed because it's very easy to just like skim through especially when you use custom content because you just have so much stuff that like you just you're just not able to see everything um so then here i use a lot of stuff from the clutter pack and i feel like especially the pastel kit it blended really well with the high school years pack so i used items from that as well um in this hallway space i wanted to have that like little side table that people usually have at their entrance where you can like drop your keys off drop your mail any like little trinkets and stuff you could just have them right there and it's just easy to remember things when you're going out the door um i made sure to add a little umbrella stand from seasons because it's kind of a really cute like little feature like the fact that you can actually have your sims shoes and umbrella and not just use the default black one all the time um but I tend to forget to put it in my build, so I'm going to try and use it more often. I do have a friend that like tends to use that in the coat rack in almost every build, and I honestly feel like it really adds that like personal touch to the front entrance. I was actually pretty proud of myself for like actually furnishing this like space because I tend to just view big spaces. I'm just like, I'm overwhelmed. I'm either going to cut it down into smaller spaces or I'm just going to like make the entire space smaller or i just like start throwing random things down which is kind of what i did here but i sort of split it into different spaces without like using walls to break it up if that makes sense so there's like the little lounge space with the bookshelf i decided to put an aquarium in here because i almost never use those and i feel like it i don't know if it's this the build very well and then for this giant space over here that I honestly, I didn't want to like clutter it up too much because again, this is sort of the hallway where the Sims have to navigate between like the living room, kitchen, dining, bathroom, laundry room, all those spaces. Um, so I obviously don't want too much clutter to the point where like your Sims can't get around. Um, so I put a stereo down and I was like, oh, well we can just use this space as like a dance floor almost. Because I find that when you have too many items in a space and then you put a stereo down, like the Sims are kind of just like packed into like one little corner, or one little area. But here they have like a huge open space so they can throw parties and stuff like that. Now for the kitchen, I went for, again, more modern vibe. I was trying to sort of break up these cabinets because I wanted to use the ones from Cool Kitchen stuff. But I hate that they all have like the glass front. So I used some stuff from Dream Home Decorator um, to kind of fill in the space as like shelving. And then I also used um, those little corner pieces instead of just having the regular um, cabinets in some areas just to sort of break it up a little bit more. And then I threw in some plants to just add like a little bit of decor. And then I just filled in the shelves with a few items just so it was a little less empty. I honestly feel like I didn't really do much for the kitchen, but I really like how the dining room turned out. 
which you'll see in a second. Not me saying I didn't do that much for the kitchen and then you see me adding in all of these clutter pieces. I actually did a lot in terms of like clutter, but I feel like the color scheme, I'm just like, I'm not feeling it too much in hindsight, but I think that it's like neutral enough that it, it doesn't really matter. Then I decided to add the concept that like maybe they're gonna have a pet, specifically a cat. So I started throwing some like random pet items, but I don't know if I remembered that later on. So, or the cat might not have like a bed or anything else, but at least it has a place to get food. The dining room was like one of my favorite parts. I decided to do like a very large dining table. Imagine like there are three like bedrooms upstairs, but I can imagine them like inviting a lot of guests over, throwing a lot of parties. And if you have like three single sims, you end up finding a partner or deciding to start a family and still like living together. It's good to have like a huge dining space specifically for that. I also added this little hutch from Jungle Adventure. It's really cute. And honestly, I feel like this room doesn't really match the rest of the house. And maybe that's why I like it so much because it, it has like a whole different like vibe. But I wanted it to feel like cozy and comfortable. And then I added a bunch of like bar drinks on the wall. Um, again, this is sort of supposed to be like a party house slash streamer house. So that's why there's a lot of like things relating to partying. We have like a movie theater room instead of a regular living room. We have a bunch of bar drinks. There's even a globe bar in this room. And then we also have um, like a huge hallway as like a lounge space with and then you'll see later, there's like a bunch of other items that I just feel like would make sense for your sims if you want to throw a party. Another thing that I could suggest people do if they decide to use this build is um, maybe having your sims be teens living here. I feel like it'd be a fun way to kind of have like, I don't know, teens moving out of the house early. Maybe they graduate high school early. I don't know. And they decide to move out on their own into Del Sol Valley and sort of start their life as like streamers slash content creators. Or you could honestly give them like any sort of career. Like my idea is for them all to be like gamers slash streamers if I ever am to like play in this household. But I can also see it being used for like a fashion influencer, like a, I don't know, someone who just runs a simstagram something like that this room was actually the first room that i did and also one of my favorites i think it turned out really cute it's just like this very light pink um i don't know there's a lot of stuff from high school years in the pastel pop kit again and i just think it i don't know it's very it's a very cutesy room and the idea for this sim was that they're kind of like edgy they're meant to be like a digital artist which is why they have their little tablet in the corner Originally, I was going to have them be like a full on artist, but then I felt like that suited another room a bit more. So again, this is our edgy artist sim that, well, not super edgy, honestly, but like our cutesy artist sim that has an obsession with the color pink. But yeah, I really liked how this room turned out. I kept it pretty simple. So I finished up that bedroom. I threw in a little chandelier to just make it like look really cute. I used the curtain from the Lux Desert Lux kit. I honestly I cannot keep track of all these names, so if I say the wrong thing at any point in time, feel free to correct me in the comments or you know kindly, or we can just pretend it never happened and move on. Um, I went for like a very boho sort of vibe for the balcony, which. In hindsight, I feel like I should have done this for a different sim, but because it was pink and it looked cute and I felt like it still like kind of matched the vibe of the interior, I left it as is. This was the part where I was like, oh, they're gonna be like super crafty. And I was like, oh, maybe they'll just be an arts and crafts sim. But then I felt like that didn't really match the room as a whole. So you'll see later I ended up like moving some of the stuff to one of the other bedrooms. And then we move on to the hallway. Again, back to doing rooms that I didn't really want to do first. So I was like, we'll finish the hallway before we go to the other two bedrooms. So for this hallway, I kind of created another like little lounge space. We used a sectional to kind of um, add like a little space for your sims to sit around and lounge with their friends. I kind of want to make it if I do have a sim live here where like all the doors remain locked and they can't really like have random people just heading into their room all the time. Because one thing that I hate is like, 
when I give my sim like a really nice computer setup or if I give them a really nice space and then you just have random sims just running into their their rooms or into their house and just going straight to the computer all the time. I hate that so much. This is the second bathroom, the first like main bathroom with like a shower and toilet and all that. And I decided to do like double sinks, double mirrors. And at first I was like, I don't know how I'm feeling about that, but in my mind, the sim with like the pink room and then the sim that you'll see or the sims room i'm saying the sims room as if they're i actually made sims but the idea is that the sim that would be living in the pink room and the sim that would be li living in the red room which you'll see later would essentially be like dating so it doesn't really matter that they're like sharing a bathroom or it could just be like really close friends so i feel like that would make sense realistically i feel like if you or to live in a house with like three people and like a house this big <laughs> where you're all contributing rent to, I would imagine that you would at least be able to get along enough to share a bathroom. I don't know. And then one of the 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 rooms has their own like ensuite, which is obviously the master bedroom. And you'll see the vibe of that room in a few minutes. Um, but for this room, it's your typical esports gamer they have four like a quadruple monitor setup and i don't know i just really like how it turned out obviously we got the new computers with high school years that are meant to be like streamer setups but personally i just i wanted to use this one just because i feel like the pc actually looks like a true gaming pc i feel like the newer ones with high school years like they're aesthetically pleasing and cute and they have like the whole mic setup but i just feel like i don't know they just don't they just don't give the the same vibe that i wanted here i did use a lot of stuff from the high school years pack because again that is a very like streamer slash gamer oriented pack in terms of build and buy um that was a huge like feature that came with that pack so it was very useful in this build and then i wanted to add something to kind of give off the vibe of like this sim being sponsored by like a company like not actually like g fuel but like just the energy drink company essentially so i added the stuff from spa day that are supposed to be like i don't know vitamins or something like that i honestly don't know <laughs> what it's supposed to be but it just looked like those like see i'm gonna be honest i have no idea about like energy drinks and all that stuff so you know what i'm talking about if you, if you know you know that's that's it we're moving on um i also added some like gym equipment and stuff in the corner and then i added like a fridge to also you know store their energy drinks i wanted to put a closet into this space and kind of like break up the hallway a bit more but i ended up just using a regular dresser and then throwing a mirror in the corner I wanted to keep this room like pretty simple because I'm like realistically like we don't need a whole lot of stuff going on in here and they probably have the smallest bedroom in the house or it's the same size as a pink room I'm honestly not sure but I, I think it is slightly smaller so it was definitely a lot easier to furnish this space I don't know why I threw down those like Christmas tree looking things on the dresser but it is what it is Okay, so now we're moving on to the walk-in closet, which I used Dream Home Decorator for. Honestly, I just had no idea what to do with this space, and a large bedroom would have just been like- Like, I honestly think the bedroom is already too large, so if I had made this part of the bedroom space, it would have just been too much. So I turned it into like a dream closet, essentially. It, I think it turned out really well and I just filled it up with a bunch of stuff from like dream home decorator a lot of like decor from the clutter kit and then just random items from various packs that to fill in the spaces this sim is meant to be like our little I guess vintage cottage core sort of queen um, you'll see with their room in a little bit that it's very like cozy and cute and I imagine them being like the more crafty artsy um streamer so they kind of lean less towards like gaming streams and more towards just like crafting stuff so i end up moving the easel and the knitting stuff and like adding cross stitching like stuff as well to this room instead and onto their balcony and i added that little bit of mess on the floor just to maybe look like they were like sorting through their closet something that i did talk about with my chat during this stream was if you're building a house for the gallery do you prefer a house with lots of clutter or less clutter 
I said that for this build specifically, like I feel like I did add like a decent amount of clutter. So to make it clear like what kind of house I was trying to create, but I don't feel like I added too much to the point where like you can't make it your own. Each room definitely has a theme. Like the bedrooms are not like plain enough for you to be like, oh yeah, this is just like a regular old sim. Like it definitely fits like at least a gamer or streamer. But again, it's mostly the clutter items that kind of give off that vibe. So I feel like you can easily change those out. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. What do you all prefer? Do you prefer a house with lots of clutter or do you prefer a house with less clutter that you can kind of add the clutter in yourself and like create your own story with the with the rooms? Let me know. We're actually getting pretty close to the end of this speed build. Um, so I'm going to probably just wrap it up here. Um, I do want to say that if you made it this far, I really do appreciate you for watching. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I will be back next Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a new video. And if you want to see more of me, I am on Twitch pretty much every other day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and weekends. And if you want to know my full schedule, I'll have it in the description down below. And again, there's a link to my Twitch as well and all my other socials if you would like to check me out there. I will have some screenshots at the end, so be sure to stay tuned if you want to see a more in-depth look on the build. And again, it, it it is already up on the gallery if you would like to download it. Make sure to like this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time with another video next week, Tuesday. Bye everyone!